how many hours of sleep do you need? And I'm not talking about, I'm talking pre-kids because sleep gets jacked. What would a normal night, a good night sleep hours be for you? Well, I don't need any more than eight. Like, and your wife? She could have eight or a little more. Or a little bit more? I, I don't need eight. Five but if you left your if you let yourself sleep and you do not set an alarm and it's uninterrupted, when do you typically wake up your body clock? <laughs> well, that's fucked up right now. Before kids. Well, it was fucked up by a job then. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that? Have you ever taken a, a period of time it's to figure out almost, your body clock? It's usually almost never more than eight hours, ever. Okay, but have you ever done anything to figure out your... Okay, then never mind. But I've never needed a lot of sleep. So, like, yeah. I could get by on five hours. Yeah. Five, six. Well, that, of course you could get by with No, that. I'm saying, I like, just, it, would be, it, would I, be, it would be a fine it, night's sleep. It intrigues me to know, and most people don't know, what their body actually needs because it's, it's wide variances. My body it hasn't gotten a night, a full night's sleep in a long Parenting, one hundred percent true. <laughs> Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid breaks with Corbin. We're parents. Uh, different stages, though. Yeah, very different stages. I don't think your kids still wake you up in the middle of the night. No, very rarely. Unless they need something. That's true. If it's an emergency. No. <laughs> Mine it's, just like, I want to fucking eat! Yeah, it's, wake mu up! It's, it's much much less impactful on the sleep these days. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to be part and, of it. And bless her heart, man. One of the great things about having grandbabies, for, um, just in a selfish way, I don't sleep in them. Bless my daughter's heart, man. Today we got a little uh, a little control interview. Uh, hey, cool. In actual basic life situations, but in a dramatic 90s Bollywood style. So it's a little okay, clip. Weird. Yeah, it's a, it's a very strange <laughs> title. Um, Kajol and Axe, basic life situations, but in a dramatic <laughs> 90s Bollywood style. Let's go. <laughs> so specific. Network. So I am joined this morning by the wonderful Kajol. <laughs> Okay, so right now we are going to put your Bollywood acting to the test. Not that you really need testing, but, you know. Um, you're known for giving really, really dramatic performances. For example... What? Exactly. No! <laughs> Do you know one of my favorites? Uh -huh. Even though it's not from the nineties, but I think everyone will, will know this. I don't, want to, I don't want to put my acting skills here, but where, it's the part where you go... Come in love! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come Can you do that for us? Obviously, it's I got a it. little high pitched. It's a little That's why it's great. radio. That's oh, why from K3G. Great. So yeah. <laughs> this is why we love you. Uh, so I'm gonna give you some pretty like mundane things, some basic life situations. Right. And I just want you to try and act them out and see how this they is would... a radio show. You realize that? I know. <laughs> <laughs> perfect for radio. Exactly. You know, questions are perfect for the screen. Um, so we just want to know how you would react to yeah. these situations <laughs> if it was in a Bollywood film, let's say in the 90s. Okay. Because they're very different from yes, now. Yes, very different. Okay, yeah. so let's do and that. Gamla and Gamla I don't think would have happened. No, 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 no. That would not have happened. No. Okay, so proper drama now. Yeah. Your first scenario is you're late for a job interview and you've just missed the train. Oh, oh God. Oh, 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 God. Does that sound exactly like her in the night? <laughs> This one, your work crush has just noticed you for the first time. Shahrukh Khan, and he's just smiled at you. Yeah. Okay. This I have to say would be done in forty-eight frames. <laughs> just to be people technical. who do not understand that filming lingo, that is like in forty-eight frames. So you should be like. <gasps> The last slice of pizza in the fridge, but you were saving it for yourself, and now it, it's it's gone. Kiss me, Liam. Kiss me, Liam. 
मुझे भूख लगी है और ये Why does she sound exactly the same? <laughs> Has she ever done radio acting, like radio stories? I would hope so. From very, very long back. This is not today, and this is not helicopter relay. Please don't judge my acting according to these standards. Nineties were a crazy time. You're going for a jog in the park. And you've just stepped into some doo doo. Depends on what I'm wearing, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> also, good okay, improv skills on Kato. Oh, yeah. Am I doing this in movie a movie situation? Because if it was a movie, I would be wearing a salwar kameez, and my dupatta would be flying. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and now you said it got stuck in the poop. I'd be like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> snatch it out. <laughs> But then I would continue walking, and the fr- uh, the wind would continue blowing my dupatta in slow very motion. motion. In slow motion, <laughs> with the poop. There's too much detail there, but please can we give her a huge round of applause? It's Dutch Girl! Asian Network. <laughs> How fun is she? Yeah, she. Oh, good grief. Her personality is so good. Yep. That's why she's one of my favorites. I think Steph says she is her favorite. Yeah. Actress to watch. Not because she's the best actress, just because she loves, just like she loves watching. Billy Crystal mm. in movies. Yeah. Not because Billy Crystal's the best. She's just, I I love watching Kajol. Yeah, how Especially can you not? Kajol and Charu Khan together. Yeah. Um she's their favorite and also good improv. Really good. Kajol. Yeah. That's not easy. No hesitation to be put on the spot. Yes. And just to do these random things. Yep. Like some of the great actors can't do that. Yep. I don't know how good I cuz I don't know him, but I don't know how good Danny De Lewis's improv is. No clue. I couldn't tell you. I could probably tell you his comedy improv is probably not that good. Statistically, I've never seen it. <laughs> never seen it. Tom Hanks's would be great because he does comedy, so we know he could probably take the ball and run with it. Never seen him on SNL, so take anybody that that's done well on SNL. You know, he can't improv well. Robin Williams just not good at it. Yeah, he was pretty much known as the worst. Yeah, wasn't he? <laughs> I, I think it's known that if you gave you had, he would always stick to the script. He would never go never off. never go off book. Really subdued too. Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time, do yourself a favor. If you love Robin Williams, do a little search on Jonathan Winters, because that's who Robin looked up to, and John Waters. And you'll see similar where he got the inspiration for. I loved Jonathan Winters as a kid. He used John to have a, Jonathan Winters used to have a TV show. It was a thirty-minute sitcom. I don't know how long it ran. I don't remember the name of it, but all it was was this attic full of stuff. And he'd come walking on. It was done in front of a live audience, and all he would do is improv with the new props that they had put in the attic. Jonathan Winters, one of the greatest. I feel like Robin did that once. Probably did, but Robin said just straight up that that was the guy. And you can see it when you watch Jonathan Winters. You can see where Robin, why he would looked up to Jonathan Winters. Yeah, yeah, I love her so much. I do too. Uh, when's your movie come out? I thought it was. I don't know. Soon. I did too. I thought it was December, but I mean, it's we're we're early. Early in December, it's only six. So. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Uh, what should be our next Kajol film? Kajol, please. Oh God, I would we love to talk. Would to Would love. Oh, that would be amazing to talk with you. That'd be an amazing day if uh, we were able to talk to Kajol. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what her next film should be down below. Josh.